Yo, what's going on, guys? It's TRA Syndicate, and we got Nabil here with the spice. It's this really spicy Subterra Bastille deck. YCS uh, day two pro deck profile yes, video. Sir, here we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, start with uh, his main deck monsters. All right. So, yeah, like you said, we played Subterra Bastille. Um, basically, we wanted to try out the new Bastille cards to counter tier. The entire point of this deck was let's try and build to counter tier. Tier's going to be the best deck, it's going to be represented a lot. Counter that and you know try and go for it. That was pretty good. It, it was. It took me out the tournament. And, and, and you know, I, I the thing is like we built this to counter tier. I didn't play a tournament until round eleven. And okay. Of course, like I lost that in time. Like that was a close one, but we still lost that. Uh, you still made it a day two. Congrats, my guy. To you too. Yeah, thank you. So for the main deck, kind of the way the deck is built is around our starter card. So we have three city, one tarot player. And then three Lebellion. So the idea here is that if you open either of these, you have full access to your entire engine. One card engine? One card engine. Let's and, go. You know, you want to see both of these from like, you see both of these with like hand traps or floodgates, you're really happy. That's yeah. kind of the idea. And that's also the problem with the deck is that if you fail to open these, you're in trouble. If you open just one, things are a little slow, you can maybe survive a turn. If you don't open either, you're, you're screwed. Um, so with the city, those are giving us our two copies of Guru. We only run two here uh, because Guru is kind of dead without the city. Opening Guru by itself doesn't really do much, and we have enough ways to search for it. That two is just enough. Um, and then as for Lebellion, we have the three Magnet. So the idea here is that obviously these cards help us search for the rest of the engine. Magnet is insane. It's a DD Pro, so it's a hand trap, and it searches. It's a follow-up. That card's pretty good. It's a follow-up. It's a huge body, which is like really relevant because like. I think like six of my rounds I play against Sprite and this thing like is super hard for them to out. One of the biggest problems for this deck, this event, was everyone was maining Fenrir. Fenrir is actually really good at dealing with this stuff, but this uh, Magnumit having 2500 allows us to just crash over it, which is really nice. So then these guys both are helping us search for hand traps. In the case of Guru, that's just being this obviously. Only two, same reason with the Guru. This thing is just a brick unless we have the full engine set up. It's not helping us if we go second. We only need the two because this is an infinitely recurable resource because of the engine, um, which we can get to if people aren't familiar with that resource. Yeah, sounds right. If you don't right. know what this does, it's just a hand trap that if you control a subterranean monster, it is an omni negate. It can negate the activation of a spell trap or a monster activation or effect. And then the Magnumit grabs us one Druus and one Saranir. Uh, we run Sarn most people aren't running the Sarnir. The reason why we do is we have the full Bistial engine, and this can help us mill quite a few relevant things. So for one, we can mill Lebellion. Lebellion is really nice to have engraved to tribute a Bistial to bring it back, so that it can grab us our spell and trap. So we run one copy of the Branded Beast Trap, and one copy of the Branded Regain Spell. These cards are insane. If I can only access one, I'll usually go for the spell, because this is just value, right? Um, what it does is once per turn on either player's turn if a light or dark monster is banished by either player uh, from either uh, grave uh, or field or whatever you can put that card on the bottom of the owner's deck to draw a card that's broken uh and this is really nice especially in the grind game because what you can do is you can just banish your own bestials put them back and use magnet to search them again so you're just getting like constant bosses. and the second effect is if your opponent normal or special summons a monster, you can target a bestial and grave and revive it. And so usually what you want to do is you revive Magnumit and that will trigger Magnumit's effect. Because it can be special summoned by anything, as long as it's special, you know, you get the search. So this thing is just like a plus two or plus three. And Beast is just really nice as, you know, an interruption. You can tribute a dragon you control uh, to pop a card. And the idea here is that this gives us a main deck out to mine, searchable. Which is really nice yeah. to have as well. A searchable optimistic mind is yeah. pretty good. Yeah, so that was really good. It's also really nice because if you have Druus Worm, uh, when Druus is sent from field to grave, you can target send a special summon monster to opponent controls. So this thing just allows you to pop to it. Which is really nice. So, it, you know, kind of like Black Arrow in a way. Let's go. And then for the sub tiers, we have the one trap, the final battle. You only need one in this build, one is enough. Um, and then the one cave flash. So cave flash is what makes Fiendus an infinite resource. Because anytime we do damage, we can grab a subterra card from Grave and add it to hand. Fiendus, by its own effect, if it's on the field, we can target a subterra monster on the field, set it face down, and reborn or special a subterra from hand. And then you, know, you can set it, use city to flip, search, 
go off. So this is like an infinitely generating uh, resource. So both of these engines can continuously search for themselves. You get constant value with them. And then the last archetype card is the one copy of Alba Lost. This was the big spice of the deck. Won me a few rounds today and yesterday. Um, so the idea here is this is just a massive floodgate that negates all extra deck monsters and all rituals. And if your opponent outs it, they lose their entire extra deck for the entire for the rest of the turn. And it's a 35-35, which is just insane. So yeah, this card was really good. Um, especially if you like have it alongside like Guru or like some other stuff to protect it. Um, every single time I summon this, I won. So it was really, really good. Oh no. That's the card I lost too. Yeah, it was, it was really <laughs> I liked it a lot. So then going to hand traps, because the idea here is I wanted to play a hand trap deck. And the Bistials themselves are hand traps, so it kind of leans into that. So I ran three copies of Ash, three copies of the Infirm, three copies of Valor, and then three copies of Nib. So the idea here is, along with our five Bistials, the one Druid, the three Mag, and then the Sarnir, you essentially have 17 hand traps in the main deck. Um, it's a 42 card deck, so the way the math works is you have around a 94% chance, I think, to open one hand trap, 70% chance to open two, and about a 33% chance to open three. So you're guaranteed almost, in a best of three, to at least once open three hand traps. And that's usually enough to stop that. Um, in so all two, two games, hand traps and then you get you to the W? I mean, it usually happens, yeah. Uh, the only times that I lose were like either because I only opened one hand trap or like I didn't get the engines going. Um, those are the only times I lost, but like, as long as you get like some combination of that going, it's really good. And obviously, like, Nib plus Valor Imperm is broken. <laughs> Nib in particular is really broken for a specific reason that I'll get into a little later. Um, but like, this sets up such a lot. Um, three copies of Prosperity. This is the most important card in the deck. You know, if you've got a one card engine deck, you need to find the one card to set up the engine. So Prosperity is really, really broken for that. I, I, with, I think one exception, every time I activated this, you always manage six. Every time I activated this, I oh, I got either City or Lubellion, which is exactly what you want with this card. So it was great. Uh, three Judgment. Initially, I had this in the side, but I rejigged the side a little bit and decided to end up meaning it. Really nice to have, especially because a lot of people were meaning uh, back row hate, and I really wanted to like just protect myself. And then the last card in the main deck is the three rivalry. So this is the first time I played rivalry in Guru. Normally you play Tikabu. How did you feel about the rivalry? Rivalry was pretty good, I'd say. Um, so this is what I was talking about with like the lock with Nib. Is what you can do is you can just hold off, let them go off, and then if you have Nib and like Baylor to protect is even greater to do that. You nib them, and then on resolution you rivalry. Now they're stuck because all they have is the token, and unless they're playing a rock deck, which there's no rock decks right now, they're just stuck. And what you can end up doing is, if you have Guru, and you have City up, like let's say you have City and you have Final Battle, this is kind of like the ideal scenario. So you have Nib, they have the token, and you set this up. What you do is you can activate Final Battle when they go into Battle Phase, set the Guru, and then negate the attack. So they can't attack us, they can't do anything because they have a token that we're not touching. They're just locked until we're ready to go off and kill them. It sets up a perfect lock. Um, I did it uh, in uh, against a, a pen player, uh, so I spooky dogwood, then I nib, then I rivalry, um, and I just like sat on that for like the rest of the game, and you just couldn't out it. Uh, yeah, yeah, rivalry is pretty good. Rivalry is OP. I'll go over the extra deck really quickly. Um, I like the theory of the extra deck, uh, but he didn't actually go into it all that much. So for link ones, uh, link rebo. The, the idea here is if you just open a Vistral package, you don't open the Subterra package. And you really want to get the engine going, what you can do is you can normal some Valor, banish Valor, or sorry, uh, send Valor for Link Rebo. And then you can, if you have Rebellion and another Vistral is the idea, you can uh, send Bist uh, Rebellion. Let me pull it up. Send Rebellion, grab another Vistral. So let's say we have Mag, double Mag. Example. What you'll do is you'll summon Mag by banishing the Valor instead. And now we can uh, trigger Mag effect, and then we can special Rebellion. Rebellion effect, grab like Branded Regain. And then end phase, Mag will search. And now we have like both of these plus Regain. So we have like two DD Pros and a Draw. 
And the draw is really important because we want to make sure we get to our sub terror package as fast as possible. Um, it came up a few times. Um, it was okay, but you know, in those types of scenarios, you need to figure out some way to get some amount of value. So I was happy with that. Um, spheres, in testing, this came up a lot. I was really happy with it, just using it as part of the end board. Um, I don't think I ever actually summoned it. Uh, maybe once. I think I summoned it once. It was okay. Um, I still like the theory of having it. There's no reason not to. Because, especially because what you can do is, like, you special either Magnemit, or if you don't have it yet, you can special summon Guru, and then you get both those engines going. Um, so Spheres was solid. Uh, IP, it was kind of just there to, like, link off stuff to set up link plays so that was fine uh dark i uh, similarly just link climb that's, I, the, that's the best link in the insane. game yeah yeah dark was insane um i in theory at least uh i never actually summoned it but you know the theory is good um unicorn never came out phoenix never came out so the theory was good appaloosa i won a game against thunder with this that was really good access code never came up uh, rank sixes. Were those your pot targets? Um, Most of the time. Phoenix, unicorn, just a few things, and a few yeah. of our rank sixes. So Dragulus, Bouncer, Wolo. This card's insane. Charger and Zeus never went into any of these. It's a Bouncer once when I was close to time. Uh, those cards were okay. Uh, a Tum. I summoned this once. So it was fine. And then M Punisher. This is just a meme, but like you can, if you have rebellion, you can normally ask someone this and try and push for a game in weird situations. Oh, that's pretty good. So that was the idea there. Going to the side deck really quickly. Uh, three Shifter. This is our one side deck for the tier matchup. Uh, three Tikaboo. There's a lot of decks running around that rivalry isn't very good against, but if you play against those, you just play Tikaboo instead. It's broken. Uh, for example, Flunder. Flunder is one of our hardest matchups because we can't really do anything against that deck, especially. Uh, going first uh sorry uh game one uh but tikaboo just ends that matchup like i play against it round nine i open two tikaboo and i just won because it caused me the first i flip the second and you scoop that was really good uh three chaos hunter i wanted a way to out runic spike because that is the hardest matchup for this deck by far uh this shuts off all runics they cannot activate the runic if they can use the special summon effect but not the other effect because it banishing is part of the effect it also stops smashers it stops cyclone so chaos hunter was pretty solid i liked it two cosmic and a duster as our back row removal those were solid and then dogwood dogwood won me i want to say two or three rounds uh really good so overall uh the theory was surprisingly decent worked better than it should have honestly uh is it a good deck can it be refined to be better i doubt it honestly but i had fun playing it it was nice all right got you today too man any shout outs uh, shout out to Grandmaster Games. Uh, shout out to my boy Dylan who came out today. Shout out to uh, Coco, Rami, and John. And All right, shout man. Shout out to the Tims. Yes, sir. Logging out. Thank right. you. Thank you.